Two Forks Tower. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, after this brief introduction, is not a big shock. Ouch! Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I'd better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Woo! Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs and the lake to the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy.
I've got an overgrown trail here. Yeah, that'll happen. So I'm screwed when it comes to getting past it? Mm-hmm. Screwed until you clear it yourself, yeah. Great. Well, if I come across some tools, I'll add groundskeeping to my ever-increasing list of responsibilities. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500-pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. There's a canyon and then the rest of, well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> Maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos.
What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's actually English for not in my job description. No, no, no! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My shitty boss almost got me killed. First, your boss is a delight. Secondly, Jesus. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie-off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Oh, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west. Without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. There's a critter out here, a raccoon. I can't understand you. Because I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look. They decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Uh, there are, uh, panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why, because you're 12? There's, a. Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Two? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? 
boy. Enjoy dealing with that. I know you guys are setting up bottle rockets out here, okay? How? Because you're hiding in the bushes spying on us? Give him a break, Lily. He probably hasn't seen boobs in 20 years. <laughs> He's probably still a virgin. Why do you guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? Uh, I know. Duck all of your stuff. The fireworks, the whiskey, you name it. What? You dick! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Whoa, hey, put that down. <sighs> Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. This guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea? It's my boombox. Can we go? L let's just run to the other side of the lake or something. Ew, totally. You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Hey, that go okay? It went fine. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. So there's no uh, noise ordinances or rules out here? Uh, no. But that music I hear makes a good case for them. Yeah, no kidding. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it. I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or... Consumption? Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, um, windfall? Jeez, 
I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground. Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away. Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, 100,000 acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't wanna touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. The goddamn park can burn down again. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon. Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave, I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Hello? I bless the rains down in Africa! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun.
können. isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse, then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one, at least. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Someone broke in. Hey, what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The place is trashed. Okay, I put in a call. What can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five-O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down at Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. You to feel safe out here. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. Oh, you're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? 
Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well... But you're taking a little break, or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Heyo. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right. I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend? Ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. like I might have lost you. You could be down in one of those valleys. Call me if you need anything.
Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid.
Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. So, I'm at the Medicine Wheel. So, you're near your lookout? Yeah, sure. I'm just wandering around in the forest, and I haven't seen one of the Red Eagle cans for miles. Uh, that's a tough one. Why don't you try getting out of the woods so you can get a better view? Find a vista or a lookout point. Okay, I'll try that. So, if I'm at the medicine wheel, am I getting close to that wire? Uh, no. You're off track. The easiest thing to do would be to head back to your tower, then north through the canyon. Feel free to find a landmark and call me from there if you're still lost. I'm at the shale slide. I, I can't climb down from here without a rope. Um, you shouldn't need a rope where you're headed. The climb through the canyon has its dangerous bits, but you should be able to do it without gear. Which way is the canyon again? It's just north of your tower.
Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. I mean, uh, I'm in the right area? I do believe. Uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. found an old hat from a Korean war vet. You'd be surprised how many former service members take this gig. Well, makes sense. I imagine if you've been through war, you probably can't get enough silence. Anything I should know about the cabin at the top of this hill? Hello? Okay, then. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it. The moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? 
Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen before you find these assholes. I was thinking you should probably head back to where you saw them last. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. No kidding. Well, let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's it.
There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Mmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. Ugh. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Is Ned that guy from the note I told you about? About the guy leaving his post? Oh, uh, could be, yeah. But I think at one point they just realized this job wasn't for them. For Brian, at least. Huh. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece.
Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Oh, uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, geez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there, as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Wow, 
I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. I'm at that rock arch over the canyon. Still no sign of those girls. Try hiking back to your tower. You might have a better vantage point from up there.
I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? <sighs> I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Well, I'm back at my shitty boss is gonna get me killed hill. You ready to give it another shot? <sighs> Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Uh. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was... off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's... Uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. What's to the south of here? Um, Mexico? Is this some sort of riddle? 
I just have a nice view to the south. You know, trees and mountains forever. Well, eventually you wander into the area overseen by Chimney Rock Lookout, but that's probably an impossible hike in terms of terrain. see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. I have entered the teen zone. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. Huh, pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? Well, according to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. They're gone, for sure. Well, what's it say? They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Look, I didn't do anything to them, but it looks like someone had it out for them. Then why do they think it's you? Fuck, I don't know. Huh. Hey, I don't. I believe you. Come on, Henry. All right. All right, it's just, it's weird what happened out here. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. This isn't that hard. Unless you just don't want to answer. case. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC, or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. 
It is the peak of high society. Mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... <laughs> Uh, I got a broken nose. It's not bad or anything, but yeah. How'd you do that? Your illustrious boxing career? <laughs> I wish. No, I, a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped and ate a parking meter. Yeesh. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... <laughs> don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Yeah, that fantasy map from before looks like it was made by Brian Goodwin. The, uh, the handwriting matches everything in that folder I found. Hmm. Maybe it just fell out a while back? I guess. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Mayhem Junior. That is peculiar. It has sentimental value.
I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. You know, I'm gonna hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh, yeah, you do that. Okay, now I'm ready. Let's get to work. How are those precious few seconds of jobless freedom? Oh, magical. Good. Now get to work. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then... You're probably the last person to have seen him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Henry? Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm, sure. Bye, baby. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? 
you were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? I've told you everything there is. <laughs> Hardly. Well, <laughs> everything I'm going to, I guess. You should know that I'm selfishly glad it didn't work out, because we get to pal around all summer. Whatever. Enjoy the rest of your hike, mystery man. <laughs> <laughs>